Hey guys, Rick Stone here from Our Stony Acres. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to plant onions and the three different methods that you can use for planting onions in your garden. But before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you get notice every time we release new videos, which is hopefully every Saturday. And also, if you would do me a favor, we're just getting started over on Instagram, and I would love it if you would go follow us on Instagram as well. So there's a link down in the description that you can click to follow us on Instagram. All right, first off, I have to apologize. I really wanted to do this video out in the garden, but it's snowing right now again, and it's freezing, and yeah, I didn't want to be out there, so we're going to do it inside. We're going to talk today about onions and how to plant onions and the three different methods for planting those onions. And so I want to start out by kind of just giving you some general information about onions. First and foremost, onions like to grow in the cool time of the year. So we're going to be planting them in the cool weather and they're going to grow up and we'll be harvesting them usually kind of mid-summer is, is when they'll be ready to harvest. So you want to target about four to six weeks before your last frost as your planting date. Okay, That's when we're going to be putting whatever method we're using into the garden, okay? Now, there's an important concept that I just really briefly want to touch on. Um, varieties of onions start to bulb at different day lengths, okay? And so we have three different day lengths that are out there. We have long day, intermediate day, and short day onions, okay? And long days start bulbing at about 14 to 16 hours of daylight, okay? Intermediates are 12 to 14 hours of daylight. Short days are 10 to 12 hours of daylight. And why is this important, okay? It's important because the top growth on an onion is very important to what ultimately will become the bulb, okay? The more luscious our top growth is and the more leaves that we have, the better our bulb will be. And so if we plant the wrong variety, the, the plants will start bulbing too soon. And uh, we, we want to have lots of top growth. And so, you know, if, if we live in the north and we plant a short day variety, they're, they're going to start growing right away. And then all of a sudden they're going to really bulb quickly. And we won't have gotten any top growth yet because it, we can't get out in the garden to plant until later in the year. And so the daylight's longer and we just can't do it. So here's the rule of thumb. If you live in the north, you plant long day varieties. If you live in the south, you plant short day varieties. If you live in the middle, you plant intermediate day varieties. And those of us that live in the middle can get away with a little bit more variation. So if you live in the northern part of the intermediate area, you can usually get away with some intermediates and some long days, okay? If you live in the southern part, you can do intermediates and short days, okay? But if you live in the north, no short days. If you live in the south, no long days, okay? Make sense? All right, hopefully it does. So I'm going to include a link down to uh, an onion producer that actually has a map that will kind of show you, uh, it's a map of the United States and Canada that will show you what area you live in and uh, what variety you should be growing, what types you should be growing. So that's very, very important, okay? All right, so let's talk about kind of general bed preparation before you're actually ready to plant your onions. So onions like fertile, well-drained soil in full sun, okay? So they need to that that spot needs to be getting eight hours of sunlight or better uh, during the summertime. That's that's what we want. We want that that bright sunshine, and we also want it to be well drained and fertile. So the thing that I recommend that you do is that you put some compost in before you plant. So I like to mix a couple of inches of compost into the top few inches of soil. That gives us a nice rich loose soil that will do really really well for onions. The other thing that I like to do is give them a little bit of fertilizer. Now we're organic growers in our garden, and so we use an organic. Um, fertilizer, but this is just a, and, and this variety isn't particular to, you know, anything, but we'll use a powdered organic um, granular fertilizer that, that will mix into the soil when we mix that compost in as well, so before we plant, okay? That will give them a good boost and a good head start. Now, if you have really good soil, maybe you could skip that fertilizer, but I feel like my onions do much, much better with fertilizer. So I do use a little bit of organic fertilizer uh, when we are growing our onions. So that's kind of the bed prep and the thing you need to do. Now let's talk about the three different methods that you can use for planting your onions. 
All right, so method number one would be planting from seeds, okay? So here's a couple of different packages of seeds. There are some real advantages to growing from seeds. Number one being varieties, okay? There are hundreds of varieties of onions out there, but not hundreds of varieties of the, the different methods, the sets and the seedlings that, that, that we can grow, but there are lots and lots of varieties of onions. And so that's one of the main advantages of growing from seed, okay, is that there's lots of variety available. But I really, really don't recommend growing from seed because onions take a long time to grow, a long time, okay? So I start my onion transplants on January 15th every year and I harvest my onions about August 15th, okay? So that's seven months that from seed to harvest. If you're trying to plant in April or May from seed, you're not gonna have seven months, okay? It's just not gonna happen. You're not gonna have that much time to grow your onions. And so I really discourage people from trying to grow from seed. You just, unless you live somewhere really, really warm with long, long days, you know, somewhere in the South, you might be able to get away with it. But even then, I think you're better off with the other two methods. Okay, now the one exception to that would be uh, bunching onions. So these are bunching onions, variety that we've grown for a couple of years now. And bunching onions, we grow for the green onion, not for the bulb, okay? And so they don't take as long to grow. And so you can get away with an early planting of bunching onions and getting those to harvest during the summertime. So if you want to try some by seed, I would go with the bunching onions. Otherwise, I would choose one of our other two methods. So method number two is planting by sets, S-E-T-S, -E sets, okay? And these are sets. So this is a bag, I'll do a close up. This is a bag of sets that I bought so that we could see these. And basically is what sets are is they are little mini onions. And the way they grow them is they plant them really intensely and force them to kind of grow really close together. And that creates these little small bulbs. And then they harvest them when they get about to this size. And then save them over the winter for us to grow the next year. And they're really simple to grow. And that's one of the main advantages of growing from sets is, is they, all, you, all you have to do literally is stick them in the ground and they'll grow, okay? And so they're super, super easy to grow and they're also very inexpensive. So this package, which has probably between 75 and 100 onions in it, was $2.99 uh, is all this cost, okay? So very inexpensive to grow and very easy to grow. But there's some real disadvantages to sets as well. And I have quit growing onions by sets and instead I use transplants, which we'll talk about in a minute. But here are the disadvantages to, to sets. Number one, when I went to buy my onions today, when I bought these onion sets, there were two varieties, red and yellow. Sometimes I'll see a white. So three varieties to choose from, that's it. I have no idea what the varieties are. There's no name on the bag. It's just red onions, yellow onions, and white onions, okay? So you're very, very limited on the variety that you can choose when you're trying to grow from sets. Um, it, it's almost impossible to find you know, a good selection of varieties uh, with sets. The other thing that I found is uh, onions are a biannual plant, which means they, they grow in the first year and then the second year they set seeds. Um, and they, so they grow a flower and set seeds. Well, these guys think they're in their second year, okay? So they think they're two years old and, and so they really, really like to put up flowers and that's not good for onions. Uh, sometimes I've had sets, as many as half of my sets put up uh, flower stalks. And as soon as they put up a flower stalk, you're done, okay? You need to just harvest it and eat that onion because that onion is gonna, the quality is gonna go down, it's not gonna store and so, that's a big disadvantage to me of growing them by sets is um, is the the fact that they go to seed so quickly, okay? The other thing that I found is is that even the ones that have gone to seed or haven't gone to seed, sorry, they end up not storing as long. And so I, I don't like that. And, and that, you know, I think that's probably variety specific. And, and so again, we can't really choose varieties with sets. And so that's a, another disadvantage. Now there is one way to keep them from going to seed and that is only planting the little ones. So if you look, this is a, a, just a little one and uh, compared to, to the bigger ones, 
if you plant those smaller ones, they seem to not go to seed as readily. So um, that would be the one thing. Now, spacing for these guys and how you plant them. Uh, planting them is simple. You just poke them in the ground. So you're going to put the you're going to put the flat end down, the pointy end up, and you're just going to push them into the ground until the pointy end is covered by the soil, just barely covered by the soil. And that's all you need to do. That simple to put them in the ground. Spacing should be about four inches apart. Um, I like to grow mine in beds, and so um, I'll space them four inches, rows four inches apart, and the plants four inches apart in each row. Um, so that's good solid spacing for planting sets. So now let's talk about planting from seedlings. And there's actually a couple of different options for seedlings. Um, and let me do a cutaway here. So this is actually my favorite method is to just buy the seedlings. And so this is how they will come to you and, uh, and you can plant these seedlings in the ground. Um, you buy them in bulk. They usually come in packs of about 50 to 75 and uh, do really, really well. We've been planting them this way for like 11 seasons now, and uh, our production has just been way better. Now, the other way is to take some seeds and plant them and grow them indoors, okay? And we like to do that too, especially when we're trying some new varieties out, and so we will plant some seedlings indoors. But you've got to get a really big head start, about 10 to 12 weeks before you intend to plant them out. So, that's a long ways away from your first frost that you're going to be trying these guys inside. So, but it's fun to do, and uh, we we do some and and enjoy it. Um, but it's so dang easy to just buy them, and so we usually will buy those. So, what are some of the advantages then of buying the transplants and and planting by transplant? Number one, very very seldom do you see a transplant go to seed. And that's because these guys are actually one-year-old plants, okay? And, and so they're in their first year, and so they don't, they don't think that it's time to set seed yet. And so you very seldom do you see them bolt and go to seed. I've also found that they seem to store a lot longer um, than, than the ones from sets. And again, that could very well be variety specific. And speaking of variety, that's the last advantage. There are lots more varieties available as seedlings when you're, when you're shopping online then there is sets, okay? So the company that I buy my seedlings from has maybe 30 varieties available. And uh, so, you know, a much bigger selection out there. Now, disadvantages would be, number one, they're a little bit harder to get a hold of. Uh, you, you can't just go down to your local big box hardware store and their nursery department and get them. Uh, usually some of your local nurseries will have them or you have to order them online or you have to grow them yourself, okay? So a little bit hard to get a hold of, and if you're buying them online, they are more expensive. Now you can do some group buys. The more you buy, the cheaper they are, and we actually have a group in our area that, that we put together, and, and we end up buying a box of 30, and we get the price down to about $350 a, a, a package. But um, if you're just buying onesie twosies, they're, they're pretty expensive, and so you do have to be aware of that, okay? Now for planting the seedling transplants, all you need to do is we, we just like to use a little screwdriver and we'll just drill a little bit of a hole and you're going to pop those guys in about an inch and a half deep, fill that hole back in and uh, away you go. Same spacing, four inches and uh, you should be good to go. All right. Let's talk really quickly about a couple of general care items. Number one, onions do not like competition. Okay, They're very shallow rooted and they don't like weeds. So you have to keep the weeds down and you need to do it by hand because you don't want to be weeding with a tool or a hoe or something like that because that will disturb the roots of the onions. And so you need to be plant pulling those weeds out by hand, which is kind of a pain. But that's definitely something that you need to be doing. Uh, you should probably mulch them. That will help keep the moisture in the soil. They like moisture and so you can mulch them with like leaves or grass clippings or I like to just use compost. Mulch them with compost is a great way and then you can enrich your soil later with that. Uh, the other thing is, is they like water while they're growing. So especially when they get to the, the bulbing stage, when they're starting to grow bulbs, you need to make sure that you're watering them consistently. You don't want muddy ground, but you do want to be making sure that you're watering them very, very consistently, okay? And I would also recommend that you fertilize one more time. And we usually will try and fertilize about 40 to 60 days after we've planted them. Um, and then we'll do either, again, we can use this, this granular fertilizer or we will sometimes use a liquid fertilizer like a fish emulsion or something like that to uh, just kind of water in. So that is your care. And then harvest is a whole other game. And we're not going to talk about that in this video. I actually have a video on how to harvest onions. And so if you want to look right up here, 
there is a link that will take you out to the How to Harvest Onions section and you can watch that video, okay? All right, the, if you're interested in buying your own transplants uh, and, and, and actually having those shipped to you, the company that I recommend is Dixondale Farms. This is not sponsored by them, okay? I just love them and, and so I recommend them to people. It's called Dixondale Farms and there's a link down in the description below. That link will actually take you out and show you the short day, long day, intermediate day map as well. So you can check that out down below. All right, so that is planting onions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and learned something from it. Um, while you're here, if I could take just a second to talk to you a little bit about the Gardening Academy. The Gardening Academy is where I teach people how to become better gardeners. And we do that by providing weekly content. So we do things like planting guides. We do a monthly mini course. We have a live Q&A session where I get on a Zoom call and, and talk with everybody and answer your questions. We do recipes. We do canning advice. We do interviews. We have all kinds of great stuff that we do on the Gardening Academy to help you become a better gardener and this is a monthly subscription service and so this really helps our channel it helps to support us here at our stony acres because youtube ain't paying the bills okay so if you would like to join the gardening academy i would love to have you join and there's a link down in the description below and you'll learn a lot more about the gardening academy and can sign up so please come join us and support our channel that way okay that my friends is all i have if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe don't forget to go uh, follow us on instagram as well and everybody have a fantastic week we'll see you next week happy gardening